the context in which he's going into this Helsinki summit is very interesting. He went to NATO. He um, said very un divisive, uh, things. divisive things. Uh, he told Theresa May, and he told the world basically that he told May how to how to do, do the his breakfast. job right? exactly, and she didn't listen to me. Should we expect more of the same in Helsinki? I think to some degree, but Putin has a very steely gaze, and so I don't think that. Uh, whatever Trump was able to do as sort of an agent of chaos, the way he's been functioning around the world, is not going to go down that well with Putin. So I think he's going to behave himself. It doesn't mean that he's not going to try to be that kind of flamboyant leader that he has been so far. But uh, Putin is very good at controlling his own audiences. And Putin, at this point, feels that Trump is his audience rather than the other way around. The other world leader that he uh, dressed down in recent days is Angela Merkel. Um, maybe that's where they find some common ground here in terms of Putin wanting sanctions to be lifted, uh, Trump wanting NATO spending to increase by Merkel. I mean, can they, can they agree on something here? No. I think they can agree on a lot of things. I mean, they both have a um, slightly testy relationship with Europe, although, of course, this kind of common conversation that we always have that allies are very concerned about Trump with Putin. All the allies have met with Putin themselves, I mean, including Angela Merkel, Emmanuel Macron, and everybody else. But I think that they can agree that uh, Europe can do more. Whatever it means for Trump is that NATO is that they can pay their share in NATO. And for Putin can do more is that they can be accepting of Russia more and the fact that uh, Russia has its own interest. I mean, in your previous segment, you had a very interesting conversation about Britain, that Britain doesn't like to be dictated by America or other countries. Well, Putin also doesn't like to be dictated. Mm -hmm. And so I think that they can agree on, on that kind of uh, approach to the world. We Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.